Well, then October 2001, uh, you and your brother Ozzy were hanging out at a nightclub in Miami and a fight breaks out. Yes, a fight broke out. I was there. It was Halloween night in this very um, huge nightclub, a very well-known club in Miami. And I was with a beautiful girl. So was my brother. Um, the two girls are coming out of the bathroom. And my brother and I are just standing there. And as they come out, we noticed that two guys approached them with drinks in their hand. And one of the guy lifts up the girl's skirt that I'm with and jams his hand between her legs and just literally just jams his hand between her legs. Now the girls start arguing with these guys. As we come over, the two guys come at us with a beer bottle in his hand. The one guy came at me and I just hit him straight with an open palm in the face here and cut him, cut him wide open. Um, the other guy goes to attack me. My brother kind of gets into a scuffle with him and they go off to the right side on the actual crowd. I lose them. I lose this guy. This thing happened so fast. It was crazy. So I, after I hit this guy, I got, I guess it broke his lip. My, my, I lose him in the crowd. I guess my brother ends up fighting with both of them. All of a sudden I lost him. I can't find him. This is a huge club. Um, my brother gets into a scuffle with some of the bouncers. And by the time I get over there, I see nothing. A couple of the bouncers grab me. One grabs me by my neck. I flip him over. I get into a fight with three bouncers. I handle them pretty easy. Then I'm kind of squaring off with another bouncer. I said, what are you guys doing? And they go, Jose, stop. I go, what do you mean you guys are attacking me? I'm not attacking you guys. So the whole thing kind of settles down. Um, and we got hit with uh, some interesting charges of assault, stuff like that. Ironically enough, um, the cameras were off that night, which is bull, mm. which is bull. The cameras were on. What they didn't want to show is the fact that we defended these girls, that the bouncers actually jumped us. Um, they hurt my brother because one of the bouncers grabbed him by his, uh, by his neck and stuck his, his, his uh, wrist bone into his neck and kind of uh, broke his larynx a little bit, was coughing up blood. So they just didn't want to show that. That's exactly what happened. Well, one of the guys you got into a fight with had a broken nose, and the other one had 20 stitches in his lip. Right. I think, uh, you, I think probably I did the stitches, and my brother broke the other guy's nose. Yeah. Okay. You guys were charged with two counts of aggravated battery, but right. you just got probation and community service. Well, we were having some other issues that we decided not to fight it. We decided, okay, whatever. We don't want to. Get involved with this issue. Yeah, exactly right. Okay. And then that next year in 2002, in May, you announced that you're retired. Yeah. Was there a last straw or just something that triggered that retirement? Because you still were in good shape and still were able to play. I could have played for another four or five years. I think what it was is that I knew Major League Baseball was blackballing me. I knew that um, I had no chance to get back up to that level. They had me in AAA, which was absolutely freezing over there. And at the time, I was trying to acquire and spend more time with my daughter, Josie, because she was very young. So I decided to, under the circumstances, really give up baseball and focus more on my daughter, Josie. Well, that next year, you know, you're going through, uh, I guess, a divorce with your wife at the time? Probably, most likely. Separation, divorce, yeah. Right. And you missed a court appearance yep. while working out a custody dispute. And the judge revoked your probation and you got sentenced to, to two years house arrest, three years probation. Well, I actually got I actually got put in jail for four months. I spent hmm. four months in jail. Um, correction. You're correct. I, first it was house arrest. So I was under house arrest. Then they violated my house arrest because they did a urine sample and said that they found a PED in my system, mm -hmm. something of that sort, then arrested me and put me in jail. But eventually what we found out was that the PEDs I was using in the past when we did an investigation, which no one really knew, had a very stubborn metabolite that mimicked the actual PED. I spent $140,000 of my money with experts that had to basically prove this in court after I spent four months in jail already. How does it feel to be Jose Conseco 
two-time World Series champion, all these other awards. Everyone knows you. You're bigger than baseball. And here you are in jail in a dirty cage eating shitty food with a bunch of criminals around you. Well, people don't know this, but after that time, I had a really bad time. I actually um, had $20 in my, in my pocket and lived in a garage for about six months. So I don't think really, pe- I don't think people know that part of it either. Um, yeah, I went through some really hard times when I wrote the book Juiced. I, uh, I made millions, invested that money in a property and lost that. But after that, there was a period of time where no one would talk to me at all. <clears throat> no one would deal with me. No one would hire me. And financially I was strapped. So I ended up living for about six months in a garage. So yeah, I don't think people know that either. Okay. Up to that point, how much money had you made in baseball? I think I think the amount we come up with was about fifty-five million. So you burned through fifty-five million dollars. Well, I can tell you exactly where every every red cent went to. It's funny. You gotta start with taxes right away, forty percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got to start with divorces that are seven million. Um, bad investments, family, friends. It can go pretty quickly if you're not really interested of where it's going. Yeah, stock market. I lost eleven million when it crashed. So yeah, I can tell you where every every cent went. 